Prime Minister Dr. Keith Rowley has called for the region to support Haiti during this difficult time. In a Facebook post from the office of the Prime Minister, he still stated that the government of Trinidad and Tobago is shocked at the tragic developments in Haiti with the assassination of the President of Haiti, Jovenel Moise, on Tuesday night. Condolences were also extended to the family of President Moise and to the government and people of Haiti. The statement added that Trinidad and Tobago pledges to work together with CARICOM to support Haiti. And following the killing of the Haitian president on Tuesday night, there is calm and quiet in the country. This according to jean Faré Jerome, a journalist with La Nueva Liste newspaper in Haiti. On Tuesday night, a suspected armed foreign group stormed the president's Port-au-Prince home and killed him. The president's wife, Martine Moise, was also injured, but is said to be in hospital. Haiti's Prime Minister Claude Joseph said all measures had been taken to guarantee the continuance of the state. TTT News spoke to the Haitian journalist who provided us with this update. And this morning, Haiti is wake up with a very bad news. The President Trivial Moïse has been killed and yesterday night by a commando and with people speak Spanish, according to the Prime Minister Claude Joseph. And the president, the president, and is killed. His wife was also killed, but not not dead. She's at hospital, and this morning, we don't know how she is, but according the the prime minister Claude Joseph, she's not dead. And now, how is the country? Everything is very calm, and people stay home they don't go out they are waiting for what will happen maybe in the and in the in the day 53 year old jovenel moise had been in power since february 2017 after his predecessor michelle martelly stepped down mr moise's time in office was rocky as he faced accusations of corruption and was challenged by waves of often violent anti-government protests 